Hi, my name is Priyanka Singh. I'm from Guyana and I'm currently pursuing my associate degree in culinary management here at the Trinidad and Tobago Hospitality and Tourism Institute. Welcome to our final episode of the new adventures in hospitality excellence. One of the most important components of our program at ETHTI is the Industry Placement Internship course, where we the students have to apply all the skills and techniques from the classes in the real world environment. In these moments, it becomes really clear that the sacrifices, long hours and tears were all worth it. Let's join Taisha Fortune, a culinary management student, as she takes us through her day as an intern at J. Malloy's in Trin City Mall. Hi, my name is Taisha Fortune. I'm currently doing my associate degree at TTHCI, and I am right now doing my internship at J. Malone's restaurant located in Trin City. When I was a little girl, I was went in the kitchen and watched my mom and my aunts cook. And like after a while I started to develop a passion and I for it. I wanted to know what this, this culinary thing is about. After growing up, I researched it and realized that this is what I want to do. I want to be a chef when I grow up. In terms of gym loans, it's really different. It's completely different from school. The pace is very fast, it's very the the drilling is rushed, everything is different. So where you may feel comfortable at school, when you come out here, it's totally different. A typical day at Jim Malone starts at 8 a.m. We prep for buffet service, which opens at 12 o'clock. After buffet service, the restaurant opens at around half past 12. And there is where orders come in. We cook on the line, we prep while we cook. One person I must say that supports me in my career, through it all, is my mom. I mean, when it to pay tuition fees at 10 teach I was challenging, Lord knows. But you know, she, she did what she had to to make sure I go. Even my dad, he helped as, as well, although he's not in the country, but he helped me as well. Um, my mom just said, Taisha, do what you want to do. You know, make sure God is in it, of course, and you will get where you want to be. I appreciate the fact that I could have attended a school to learn more about the culinary industry and to learn more skills and professions. My advice to anyone out there is that if you know it's something you want to do, put it all your heart in it, your effort, and trust me, the end will come. Our kitchens are definitely heating up here during exam week at TTHDI. Let's check out our second group of culinary management students in action as they execute their novel cuisine practical exam at our hilltop restaurant with a mouth-watering seven-course meal offering to family, friends, and of course, judges. So where's my plate? Tonight's exam was a bit different during the course term because we had judges and we had our actual family members come in to critique us and support us in the same breath. Today's theme was Trinbago melting pot. We wanted to incorporate all the ingredients and the flavors that is native to Trinidad and Tobago and put our twist on it with Nouvelle Cuisine, which is supposed to be more of a lighter note, which is true to flavor instead of hiding behind heavy seasonings. It was very flaky and nice. I like how it tastes, everything, and not smooth. It was, um, it was unusual, you know? We all work as an entire team, so we assist with every aspect of the meal. So it's a holistic approach, and we deliver an exceptional job today, all together. I'm always impressed with what the young people are able to do and come up with these days. We got a bit of background, some things about Trinidad that was an eye-opener to me as well. And the food, they try to bring lots of our elements all together but presented differently. I did not expect it seeing the day, the hectic, the anything can happen. Everything that could have happened today to me happened to me. So I was not expecting good reviews, far less great reviews. So I was just like shocked. 
I still can't really believe it, but I am happy because I did put a lot of time and energy. This is weeks planning. We came up with this menu in October. And then when everything just sort of played out, it was like, okay, I feel accomplished. I feel satisfied, like finally, you know? So, yeah. sure. That's Earlier this year, on the 16th of January, our students elected a new gill. Let's meet them. Hello, my name is Celine Huggins. My name is Dustin Allen. Hi, my name is Adrian Duke Walcott. Hi, my name is Chanel Greenwich. My name is Alia Peters. My vision for this guild is to be immersive in the student life. Just be more welcoming, you know, that we could build the camaraderie here at ETH. Yeah. To improve little things around the school, like cleaning up the areas, one of the main things we could do. In a tertiary education, it is a bit difficult to communicate with a teacher because they have so many things on their hand. So a group of students that will support our fellow colleagues will be easier to communicate and find out their everyday issues and how we could better it. I would say just improving the students' experience while studying here. To me, it's also building like a support system and, you know, not just coming and attending a class, but just overall connecting and building that rapport. This school opened up my eyes to so many possibilities. I just felt the need that I had to give back. But this institute, I love it, honestly. Hope you enjoy a look into our world over the past eight episodes. To catch up on all of the exciting adventures here at TTHGI, please visit our Facebook page and YouTube channel. If you or anyone you know is interested in starting an amazing career in the hospitality and tourism industry, then you definitely want to visit our open house event coming up on February the 16th, 2019. Thank you for joining all of us during our adventures in hospitality excellence. Do stay in tune for another exciting series starting very soon.